So let's complete the iOS project to be able to actually add and see the new items. So to be able to do that, we need to add a navigation controller and I can just find it in the toolbox and drag it into my storyboard, just like this. And you will see that a table view is inside of the, of the navigation controller. We can just get rid of that. So uh, we, we already have the one that we need. So we're going to be adding the navigation controller. We're going to be changing it to be the first one to be navigated to by dragging that flag to it. And we're going to move this a little bit further to the top and this one right in here. Uh, so we already have all of the elements that we need. The thing that we need to do is select the navigation controller and control drag from it to the table view and set it as the root. So we actually now have a title and a navigation bar and we can change the title to be um, something like books, like so. And from this one, we can actually add a button for us to be able to add and navigate to that add page. So I'm just going to look for the bar button item. I'm going to try and drag it to the navigation bar and I'm going to change it to be, uh, to have an identifier of safe, which is going to just add that. I actually know what I, what I want is a new. So add in here, it, it changes to an add button and I'm going to click and drag from it to the view controller. I'm going to click on show. And now this one also has a, a navigation bar. So let me just move this to the right of the books table view controller. And it now has by default the back button. So we, we can actually change this, uh, this button to not be in here. And I'm going to add a bar button item in here. And this one is going to be a safe uh, button. Now, you will see that it cannot be added to the navigation bar. It actually is added below. I don't want that. What I have to do is add a navigation item. So you can search for it and add it in here. So now you can see the title and you can see the title to be new book. And now you should be able to search for the bar button item and add it in here without any problem change its identifier to be safe and set a name to be safe bar button item. Now, since we changed something in here, now the safe button in here is in here and it's actually different. We have to get back uh, to, to the view controller and we don't, we no longer have a safe button. So we have to do safe bar button item and the safe bar button item does not have a touch up inside method or event. So we're actually going to be looking for the clicked event and we don't have to change anything in here because everything else is going to work perfectly. We do need to add something else. So in, in case the insert is successful, let's just navigate back. So what we can do is access the navigation controller and call the method pop to root view controller and set this to true because we do want this to be animated. So true. And that should be it. So let's go ahead and test this on our iOS simulator. I am going to run this again and let's see if we can keep adding new elements and watch them live on the application. So here we have the application up and running and you can see how now we have this nice navigation bar and we can click on that and we can write book two by author X and save it. And if it's successful, I get navigated back. And because we are refreshing on the view did appear, we actually have this automatic refresh and we see the new button, the, the new book, and we can keep adding the book three by, by, by me and click save. And we can see that it is added seamlessly to the list as well.